bring in our chief meteorologist, Mike Nelson, and we have avalanche warnings for that exact stretch right now. We do, and I was here, I remember that March 1992 slide. When the plow drivers yes. were hit, wow. And uh, I have to say the CAIC folks do an amazing job. Yeah. The best mountain forecasters hmm. there are. And there are warnings as you speak mm -hmm. about. Avalanche warnings cover most of the Colorado mountains through tomorrow afternoon because there's more snow and wind coming in. While we have a fire weather warning uh, down over southeast Colorado for tomorrow. So talk about fire and ice that really have a tail going on right now. This is what's happening across the state. The snow is increasing again from southwest Colorado, especially out near the Grand Junction area as a new storm wave begins to push back into the state. So we'll get heavy snows in the mountainside along with wind closer to the Denver area. A few scattered light rain showers and flurries are out there. We'll take you up the mountains. This view currently from the camera up at Avon Beaver Creek looking up over the ski area. Pretty start to the evening there. Today's high reached the mid 50s. 18 was where we started. 45 and 19 are the averages and currently our temperature is at 42 at the airport, 45 downtown. Pressure's falling. Southeast winds at 8 miles per hour. A few flurries possible this evening will drop to 32 by 11 p.m. Next storm coming in along this front that's been hanging in here all week long is not really all that strong, but it's going to bring enough moisture to cause the wind and the snow in the mountains tonight. Snowy and slick there, especially central and northern mountains by morning. Partly cloudy on the plains. The low is going to zip off to the east too quick to bring us more than a flurry here. 23 for Denver, 13 at Leadville and at Craig, 16 down at Telluride, and we'll see 29 out on the eastern plains at Burlington. Front range will be teens and 20s in the mountains and 20s on the plains. Snowy and slick in the high country, dry and cold on the plains by midday. Snow showers linger in the mountains, sunny but windy, gusty northwest winds expected on the plains. And later in the day, the winds start to diminish, as does the snow in the mountains. Temperatures are going to be cool, though. Snowfall, it's going to be anywhere from about 3 to 6 and locally a little bit heavier in the mountains and just a little bit to the north and east of us. Highs tomorrow only in the 20s in the mountains, mid to upper 40s on the plains. Some mid to upper 50s over southeast Colorado. Okay, that's storm one out of the way, clearing skies later tomorrow. Looking ahead to Friday, maybe a few mountain snow showers northwest Colorado. On Saturday, high clouds start to increase. Sunday, a warm front comes through, so we're warmer, and this is a stronger storm due to arrive here on Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday with snow likely heavy in the mountains and possibly heavy on the plains. Clearing and windy, 48 tomorrow, mostly sunny and 50 on Friday, partly cloudy with those high clouds Saturday, 48. Bronco game Sunday, it's 57 degrees expected. And then Monday, the clouds increase, snow late. Tuesday, snow, colder, could see several inches. Flurries and very cold on Wednesday.